Y'all, I'm just sitting here trying to figure out how I'm going to make up some recipes or come up with some recipes for this whole dosha diet that I'm trying to do with Bryce. Um, and I've made some notes. So I got this little, little note here about the pitta dosha. And <laughs> in my notes, this is kind of going to be difficult, but I'm up for the challenge. Um, for Pitta, I wrote, avoid salty, sour, and spicy. Lord, I hope I'm not Pitta. I haven't done the test yet because I love salty, I love sour, I love spicy. <laughs> so it would be very, very hard for me to avoid those things. Eat rice and bread. Goes completely against the low-carb diet, huh? Milk, butter, and ghee are cooling. So on Pitta, um, you're a fire, I think. So you are supposed to try to do the opposite. So you're supposed to try to, to eat foods that are cooling. So like salads, um, raw vegetables, um, things like that, cold beverages, ripe fruits, raw cucumber, broccoli, asparagus. And then it says avoid tomatoes, hot peppers, onions, garlic, and spinach. I love tomatoes, I love hot peppers, I love onions, garlic, and spinach. Oh, I hope when I take this test that I'm not having to deal with the pitta <laughs> balance. It says use fennel, which I do like to use fennel. I use a lot of fennel in foods. So it, to me, it gives um, a lot of foods kind of a, um, an Italian flavor. Um, so I like to sprinkle it on pizza, that kind of thing says to use fennel, mint, and coriander. And then I wrote eat lentil soup, which I love lentils. I love to make lentil soups. I usually make them with turmeric and lemon. Um, anywho, I wanna hear from y'all. I wanna hear from the ones of you that might have taken the quiz and found out which dosha, which doshas you need to balance. Um, and that'll help me a whole lot. Um, some of you already commented down on Bryce's video that she put out yesterday that we, the two of us did together. Um, but yeah, I want you to comment on my, mine too and let me know like what, you know, what you're looking for. So I'm already working on one recipe that I'm doing that is um, paneer, which is an Indian cheese. It's in a lot of Indian foods and I'm gonna do roasted vegetables. Um, cause and with like brown rice, I find that, um, even though I don't know exactly what I am yet on, on the dosha quiz, I find that I, my digestive system works best with vegetables that are cooked. Um, as much as I do love a cold salad, um, I can eat like spinach and arugula, those soft lettuces, but when it comes to like iceberg or romaine, I have a really hard time digesting those things and like raw broccoli, raw cauliflower, raw carrots. I have a hard time with all those things. So in this, I'm going to do like, a, um, I'm going to roast the paneer cheese and I'm going to roast all these vegetables along with it and throw it over some brown rice. So that's going to be like the first thing that I do. And we'll figure out which um, doshas that that recipe will help balance. But let me know down in the comments what dosha, if you've taken the dosha quiz, <laughs> what um, what you need to balance like um and also what kind of foods you like because not everybody likes indian food not everybody likes mexican not everybody likes italian you know and also a lot of people have food allergies i have a hard time with gluten so a lot of the things i make will be gluten free um so but yeah let me know if y'all if you have an aversion to something also i will be cooking some meats mainly fish and I do a little turkey, so kind of on the lighter side, but most of what I'm gonna be doing will be vegetarian, but I am going to incorporate some, some um, light meats also with um, the fish, like um, seafood and um, turkey. So um, I'm not opposed to, to especially fish, I love fish. So, um, but yeah, I think it's all gonna be pretty light, light foods, I'm hoping. Um, anyway, let me know y'all. This is going to be really fun for me. I'm excited about doing it and um, I love cooking and so uh, 
I just really appreciate anybody who tunes in and lets me know if you're on this path, if you're going to go on this path with Bryce and me, because um, I'm going to have so much fun cooking these meals, coming up with these recipes. Um, Stephanie over at Spiritual, um, <laughs> I always forget the whole name of her channel. Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening. <laughs> She already told me that she can, on her dosha diet, that the chickpea salad that I posted last night works for her. So she's going to try to make that. So that's a winner. I wasn't even planning on that being like one of the dosha diet recipes. So see, I mean, a lot of things that, you know, it's not necessarily that we need to just kind of change everything, but we can find things that we're already making that actually work and just kind of omit the things that don't. Okay, so um, that's what um, I'm going to be planning on doing because I already cook like every day pretty much. So this is just going to be kind of categorizing the meals that I'm already preparing and kind of figuring out where they fit and, and how um, they can be used to benefit all of us on this path. So anyway, I love you all. Thank you for watching my channel. If you do go to my website, fickles.com, that's P-H-I-C-K-L-E-S. Um, and you want to buy some pickles or barbecue sauces or salsa or pepper jellies, um, use code SPICY, all cats, S-P-I-C-Y. I want to make sure you get 20% off. And the pickles in the, um, the pickle jars and the pepper jellies and the salsa all are at the correct size to fit in the medium box from USPS. And so six items will fit into the smallest box, which is $17 and I think 10 cents now that USPS went up a couple of weeks ago on their pricing. But so just know that. So you could either put one item in that box or six um, for the same shipping price. So um, anyway, I look forward to um, doing this with everybody, cooking along with y'all. I think tomorrow will be the first time I'm actually going to film myself cooking a meal in my kitchen. So that'll be a lot of fun and a whole lot of giggles, I'm hoping. So anyway, I look forward to it. I'll see y'all later. Bye.